Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're up bright and early this morning, we're going to go and explore the west coast of this part of Normandy and hopefully find out some interesting information about some old cabins. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and like and we'll see you there. just arrived here at I have no idea <laughs> um, I've been at work all week so Jess has organized this little trip so we are at so the nearest village is Carrel Carol is that what you're looking for Carol <laughs> and we're here to do a little walking route um, right on the coast we're right at the top of sort of cliffs of the coast so hopefully there's a lot to see it's a bit of a bright day so we should be able to see Mont Saint Michel um, so yeah yeah, this should be a nice walk. There's some things to see, some sights, some scenery, all that sort of thing. Um, we'll put a little map after this little video um, so you can see where exactly we are. And uh, yeah, we'll see some exploring, see what we can find. All these years, you've been mine. It wasn't easy, but we worked it out. All those tears, ups and downs. Best right of my life. Look at where we are now, baby. Only blue skies ahead. And it wasn't all bad, baby. Look at where we began. Make it out in my room. Nobody had a clue. Sneaking out past curfew. the first hut we're only visiting two today there are 70 of these all along the coast of Normandy here and they were built between the turn of the 17th century commissioned by Vauban the famous military architect it was great strategic strategic importance here because it looks right out onto the coast Mont Saint Michel is somewhere over that way but we can't see it it's a bit hazy and they were built to stop the English invasions of the 17th century and going into the 18th century. Of the 70 huts that were built here, there were 13 captains stationed. So they would have had to have walked, I think they're about half a mile apart, would have had to have walked quite a way each day to keep an eye on them all. And it's literally one building, uh, one room, sorry, with a little fireplace in it to keep them warm. So close, I can't touch it. I just can't stop thinking about us. My bad, my bad. Make it out in my room. Nobody had a clue. Sneaking out past curfew. So the captains were removed from this site in 1738, so probably only about 40 years after they were built. After that, they were still used. They became lookouts for um, coast guards and for smugglers to try and prevent smugglers from coming into the country. And they were eventually disused completely in 1815. There has been a project to restore two of them. They're much further along the coast. And that project has cost 80,000 euros. So they've been completely restored. And some of them, I mean, this one's in good condition. Some of them are very falling down. They've got plants growing all over them. You can barely see them. So there's only about 40 that you can actually see. But yeah, it's very interesting. Beautiful place to have lived, but I bet it gets bloody cold because it's right up on the hill. Slash cliff. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see your face wherever I look 
through the forest we are right on the coast and there are a few little coastal uh, little paths sorry that go right out onto the sea like I just showed you but it's very rough terrain if this is on your list of somewhere to come I would recommend you wear walking boots it hasn't rained here for oh I don't know three weeks but it's very dry but it's also quite sandy so it's a bit slippery and it is quite rocky and stony and just rocks poking out over. I have had a couple of slips, but I've not fallen on my bum yet. I won't look back or close my eyes. Let the past be down by night. So I let go, let go. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. As you can see as well, it's quite overgrown. Not very good for those taller people among us. <laughs> so you can just about over my shoulder, see Mont Saint Michel oh, above Matt's head. We went there a couple of weeks ago, so go back and have a look at our video on Mont Saint Michel. It's a bit hazy still, so we can't see it very well, but Matt's taking some photos. So check out our Instagram as well. And hopefully as we get a bit further around the coast, we'll be able to see a little bit more of it. It's too late. This is the sort of jagged landscape that I was talking about. Matt's deciding to take the long route round, which is just climbing down the rock. I took the sensible path. Fall asleep, I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like before this walk's probably not for the faint-hearted um, where we're stood right now there's a coastal path that runs all the way down but at my feet it's quite a sheer drop I'll show you Just taking five minutes to take a bit of a break as you can see this is the way we've got to go next <laughs> i thought we were coming for a nice coastal walk not a rock climbing experience it's quite hard going but i hope on the other side of here is the other uh, cottage that we saw we saw one earlier this should be the other one i um, hope it's worth it yeah i hope it's worth it maybe a starbucks there or something there's not going to be a starbucks <laughs> that was the only thing keeping me going <laughs> If any of you are interested though, we are on Buy Us A Coffee. Check out the link in the description. You can buy us a coffee as a way of appreciating what we do and showing you guys around. Check it out, it's a, rake, rake. 
it's a great website um, and obviously we're supporting them as well by using their platform so check it out i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel it's just what I do when I'm so Try not to hold me down Feel alive So we've made it to the second one just, We're only <laughs> Just made it we're only going to see two today because it is a very, very, very hard walk. This one doesn't have a chimney like the other one, but they are all made out of 100% stone. Stone roofs, stone walls, stone floors, everything, because obviously they're very exposed to the elements. I don't know how high up we are, but it feels very high. 80 meters. We're 80 metres above the sea level. So they would have been battered against the elements. And it is quite amazing that 200 years on, 300 years on, that it is still standing and like i said not all of them are but these couple are and these are some of the best preserved apart from the ones that they've actually paid to have restored i just want to add as well just for those of you that don't like a hike obviously the route that you saw it is quite treacherous and there are signs saying that it can be quite dangerous there's a lot of like slip away rock yes there is a walk back this way where we're going to go now that'll take us round to the road. Yeah. So from where we've parked, we'll mark all these positions. We'll do like what, three words and stuff like that. But you can walk from the car park down the main road and still get here. So you don't have to do this treacherous walk, but for a picnic or something like that, it's a fantastic place to go and sit yeah. and just watch the world. I mean, the paths to the two houses from the road, they are quite narrow, but they're not rocky and you're not going to break your ankle. Whereas that bit along the coast, it did actually have signs that we didn't read that says that it was dangerous <laughs> but we made it it's not it's not dangerous I mean, we didn't do anything dangerous or oh yeah we went along a normal coast path it's a normal coast path so don't worry mum <laughs> she's still in one piece <laughs> up to this point in the video <laughs> when i'm in this town look at those beautiful stars i want to drive a faster car nothing can break me no no nothing can break me Troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars Okay, so as you saw, we came past the roadway um, It was a lot, a lot better It was a lot easier Definitely recommend, if you're not fancying the big walk or the hike To do the road route Or the rock climbing Or the rock climbing We've just got one more big hill to climb, <laughs> which is the way we drove in on. And then we'll be back at the car. Yes. So oh, we've, that's a big hill. That is a big hill. We feel like this is a great place to sort of leave our vlog this week. Um, thanks again for watching and to all our new subscribers. Hello. Stop because otherwise we're gonna yeah. cut the hill. Um, <laughs> uh, as always, please consider subscribing. It really is helping the channel and our videos are growing, which is really great to see. Check out our Instagram account. Yep. Um, our followers again are growing so we must be doing something right a um, couple of new ones this week we've got our as i mentioned earlier we've got our um buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee uh, slash beer slash beer slash wine for me slash wine slash yeah just anything um in the description we'll leave the link check it out it's a great website it's a great company that that made it so as much as it feels like we're just begging for stuff we're not we're supporting their website as well mm. so everyone helping each other out that's what it's about we also have our patron page which we've set up as well a couple of tiers in there to help support and help our uh, channel grow um starting from just like a pound it's, it's not it's not expensive and it just helps us to continue doing these videos which 
obviously we need all the help we can get to keep doing it because we love doing it and hopefully you guys love watching it um as always give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video ring the little bell to notify you ding 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 video next friday and every friday yes. um so until then have a great week and we will see you next week see you then Bye. Bye.